Okay, so in this video, we're working on a Toyota Coaster uh, BZ, BZH, I think it is, 50, 2002 model, but this model goes, it's got the 1HZ in it. Uh, what we're doing on this one is we're repairing the Speedo. We just had this gearbox uh, fitted, and um, the people who fitted it didn't connect, or didn't disconnect the Speedo. So they basically just yanked it. When they got it back, they said, oh, something wrong with your speedo it's probably already like that but of course it wasn't so looking at what's left of the wiring now we need to identify what's what uh, we have a new one here and we just need to find out what our wiring pink pink and black pink and blue and white and black and looking at it over this side two down three down Okay, now let's compare. If not, we can get a meter across it. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of all of this. Okay, so that basically just leaves us one. Leaves us one. Which is the pink and the as neat, as neat and tidy as possible so we'll solder these on because this is for our speedo we don't want these coming loose again don't want to get under here and have to do it all over again my hands should have been a bit cleaner for this type of work but okay so that's a good one let's get our little gas power soldering iron This is uh, the speedo pickup. So basically this allows the car to know how fast it's going on the bus. Oh my arm's so tired. Okay, and pink and black. Pink and black. The hot part to go anywhere except for where it needs to be. One down. Take that out of the way. Now, if you don't like my soldering job, keep in mind I'm underneath the bus in the dark. My arm's hurting, I've got to keep it up on a funny position. Okay, three connected. Let's have a break. Okay, one on. Now one trick I like to do is when one's on there, you wrap around uh, the other one. Oh, sorry, yeah, you roll around this one. Did we get twisted there? I think we did. That's right. Okay, so that one's on. Might just roll these two together a couple of times. So just keep it nice and neater. Okay, so we've extended it a bit. 
so next time we hope that they won't uh, make the same mistake over comes the plug now to one prong on that side which means it goes in that way you should hear a click it's on it's on nicely last thing to do is to tidy up this wiring okay so there's that normally they give you something to kind of attach it on the side here but I can't see anything what we might do is I might just cable tie it in cable tie it in if we cable tie it onto this uh, chassis it should be should be fine should be fine so we'll double that around and then we'll use this this cable tie to there some cable ties normally you don't have to cable tie it to a little saddle but where where is all that gone these days who knows just to keep it nice we'll put a little cable tie on it so it doesn't snag on anything okay so that takes up a lot of our excess and that's all uh, fairly covered. I'm going to need two to get around this engine mount. It's quite easy with the cable ties. The next mechanic sees it, he just cuts it off. Cuts it off and reattaches it. Everybody's happy. Now I don't want... That's uh, right, we'll put one around all that. We just don't want it touching anything. So that cable ties in there nice and tight going around the foot the actual foot that's normally connected to connected to the motor somewhere okay so there we have it we can leave those cable ties long they're not going anywhere also got some cutters there's my cutters ah, there's my cutters you cut them it does leave a bit of a sharp edge but that's the only thing when you scratch yourself on them it does look neater that yeah, looks a bit neater okay there we have it so basically they when they dropped the gearbox they didn't disconnect this we got to do to disconnect is pull it down and push the button which is on the side here we'll get a little screwdriver and just dig dig that button out now we've got our, our speeder working again which is good and um, won't give us any troubles and it's better than uh, the way it was before all pulled and stretched thanks for watching